Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome to this very new and very different type of video. I have never done a pick a card reading before, though I have watched perhaps hundreds or thousands of them. I don't know how many I've watched now. I love this category of video. There are so many wonderful readers on the internet who are putting out these lovely pick a card readings and I've enjoyed watching many of them. I've been studying tarot on the side as well myself alongside my astrology studies and I just love all of this. I think it's wonderful. I think tarot offers a really wonderful tool for contemplation and self-reflection. So when I do one of these readings, what I ask you to do is to tune into your own intuition. So as I speak, you know, you'll get a gauge, you'll get a feel for, okay, is this for me or is this not for me? If it's not for you, what I suggest is that you click off, you watch another video or you can choose another pick a card reading. There should be, if you're watching this one, others should start to flood in onto your dashboard and maybe you need to watch one by a different reader or just watch an entirely different video altogether. So I will leave that with you. Um, what else did I want to go through? Yes, this is... I'm doing this on the 17th of September and this is the new moon today. We have a new moon in the sky. So I thought I would do this on a new moon day. And what better than a new moon in Virgo, right? <laughs> this is Virgo, so maybe I should make sure these are all perfectly aligned. Um, let's see, so yeah, I'm doing this instead of the meditations. Now, I know that there are a small handful of you, I think, who really like the meditations. But what I'm finding is that they are a lot of work and I'm not getting too many views from that. So I'm gonna stop doing those for a while and I'm gonna see how this goes. I wanna see if you know this is more popular with people, if people like this kind of thing more. I'm not sure. And since my channel is small, I can experiment and do different things. So if you are a person who really was hoping for a meditation, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not able to do one um, this time. Write to me though, put, put in the comments, tell me what kind of content you like and what you want, and I will make that. So, you know, if I forget a lot of people saying, oh, I really miss the meditation, then of course I would bring it back. But maybe people will watch this and say, oh, I like this better. And I'm thinking this is the kind of thing I could possibly do once a week, um, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. I will keep you updated <laughs> with how things go going forward but um, <clears throat> please know that even though maybe I don't write back to your comment please know I read all of them and um, yeah I, I try to get back wherever I possibly can okay so let's get started on this reading we have pile number one pile number two and pile number three right group one group two Group three. Now, if you take a look at the description or in the comments below, I'm going to put timestamps and it's kind of like a choose your own adventure book, right? You get to choose, do you want to watch me talk about these cards, these cards, or these cards? And it's so much fun. And I do recommend that you just watch one. Um, if you feel halfway through that it's not resonating or it's not quite you, then you can switch to another group. But uh, you know, I tend to think just go with your first gut instinct and see what the cards have to say. All right, so let's take a look at group number one. All right, group number one. We have the beginnings card. That is actually quite incredible because this is the very first card I'm drawing on this channel so that is amazing that just occurred to me just now wow well you are up for a new beginning that is for sure you are up for something very good 
that's going to manifest and unfold in your life. The next three cards are tarot, so I'm going to park those here. We've got the tower, we've got the devil, and we've got temperance. Now the tower and the devil are in reverse. We've got temperance upright. I'm going to lay all of these down and then look at them as an entire group because that's how I like to do this. Okay, let's have a look now. Your oracle cards, you've got queen of the moon, oracle cards. These are beautiful. Let's just have a look at the pictures here. Isn't that wonderful release? How beautiful. And then we've got, I really like the queen of the moon deck. I think it's so beautiful. And we've got surrender. So wonderful. And we've got these lovely crescent moons in both. So that's just beautiful. Now, from this deck, we've got this card, which I'm not going to pronounce. <laughs> but it says reduction and devastation. Pay attention to your flaws because in them you will discover your affinity with others. It's beautiful. Well, pay attention to your flaws. I mean, yeah, reduction and devastation. There, there is some challenge here, group one. So you are going through some stuff. Uh, and let's take a look at your Rahu Ketu. Axis, we've got Rahu down there in the sixth house. Okay. So what does Rahu want you to know? Well, let's actually take a look at all the cards first. Beginnings. There is definitely something that wants to manifest into your life. And it's something wonderful. It's something exciting. It's something that you've wanted for a long time. But you are going through a bit of a challenge right now. And we're going to talk about the nature of this challenge. I don't get the feeling it's to do with love. I get the feeling it's to do with your life situation. I get the feeling it's to do with your work. It could be to do with money. It could be like your entire personal economy is being turned upside down or something. But you're, you're, doing, you're handling it very, very well is the other thing that I'm seeing here. So with the tower and the devil in reverse, if these were upright, I would be concerned. Okay, I'm not concerned. This is all looking quite good to me. Tarot, these three tarot cards are telling me that you are going through something quite tough, but you're actually handling it quite well with this temperance card. And if you continue to handle your current challenges with a sense of flow, with a sense of ease, with a sense of balance, if you're taking time out, you're going to be just fine. Okay, you're going to sail through this and I suspect you're doing quite well, but you are going through a challenge. The tower in reverse and the devil in reverse. The tower in reverse is telling me that you may well have averted a bigger catastrophe, right? So even though you may be in a situation right now which is quite tough or you're feeling the pinch or the challenge or some kind of pain or something's not quite right, you've actually averted something far worse. So you're doing well in that regard. The devil in reverse. How I took this was that you're not allowing yourself to be manipulated. That's how I'm taking the devil in reverse. It can, when it comes up in readings, it can mean addiction and things like that, um, or the lure of the material world. And it's really quite interesting. I'm pretty sure this card deals with that as well. But um, again, I get the sense that yes, you're in a tight spot. Yes, you're in a tough place, but you're actually handling it quite well. And I think you also know that the way to handle it is through these two in particular. These two cards, and it's fascinating, we've got a bit of duplication here. 27, 26, they're also close. That was the other thing that was amazing about this spread here is that these are, these are major arcana as well. So whatever you are going through is quite big. Equally, the new thing that you're trying to manifest is probably very big okay so you don't want something small here i feel like you want to manifest something really quite big so you're playing with some large energies 
What's going to help you in addition to this temperance card here is release and it is surrender as well. So I got the sense with this group, I get the sense that it is kind of time to sort of let let God take over a bit, let, let him drive the car if you know what I mean. Um, And that's quite possibly what your angels are saying as well, that don't be afraid to take time out. Now let's take a look at this beautiful card here. This is a really new deck that I'm using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the message because I thought it was so good. It says, so this was from the book, the little guidebook. It says, in order to see the light in a conflict, we must understand that the very traits we dislike in others are also what we dislike about ourselves. We all have flaws. By understanding this, we are welcoming a more constructive approach to the things that may tear us apart. Whenever someone projects their negativity onto us, we must understand that it is not always about us, but perhaps it is a conflict they are dealing with themselves. If we become aware of this dynamic, we are able to remove the heavy weight and negativity from ourselves setting us free. Yeah, so I, this is interesting because this does give a little bit more context to the challenge that you're going through. And it could be, the challenge that you're going through, it could be to do with, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, it's, it could be to do with work. It could be to do with family. I'm not getting a romance vibe here. Though that might be part of the grand thing of what you're wanting to manifest. If you are single, whatever's coming in for you, it's huge. Right? <laughs> it's, it is, I feel like it's big and I feel like th there is some kind of challenge, but I actually feel like you're doing really well with it. If, as I say, if these were upright, I would be concerned. But it's not so bad. I think you've got quite a good handle. Now, what does Rahu want you to know? Let's take a look at this. These are my little hand-drawn thingies. And I drew all 12 of these and then I shuffled them and I picked one. So it's quite incredible that we've got Rahu down here in the sixth house. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, and, we, and we've got conflict here. Clearly we've got, we're talking about conflict with this card here, right? So there is some conflict situation. There's something that's not going quite right. It could be a situation. That's why I'm being a little bit general up here. I'm not, or a circumstance or something like that. So I don't want to get too bogged down into it. it's a person. Um, but this is, this card is talking about an actual conflict with someone. And that is, look at that, that's Rahu down here. That's Rahu in the six. Absolutely perfect. The cards don't lie, do they? I'm always amazed as to how they fall in such a perfect formation. So Rahu is actually kind of asking you to, yes, release, yes, surrender. So definitely do these two things, but not to give up and not to surrender or release doesn't mean that you hide here in the 12th house, okay, doing the temperance thing, right? It, just, it doesn't necessarily mean that you just hide. No, Rahu wants you to, to recover, recoup, to recognize that whatever it is that you're fighting against, that's something within you. You have that as well. And Rahu wants you to to get in there and like to get in that sixth house. You know, I, I, I'm getting the feeling that Rahu, Rahu likes being here. Rahu likes the challenge. This situation, it, it might be a bit, it might be energizing. Look for that. You know, some people, they actually thrive on a little bit of conflict. Um, so look for that within yourself. Look for, does it feel good to me? Does it not feel good to me? Do I want to go in that 12th house? And get away from it all um, but what you're doing is you are navigating this sort of I want to get away from it all and just be spiritual 
and oh god I have to be in the world I have to serve I have to do things I have to work I have to you know deal with conflict and difficult people it's a balancing act between the two what I can tell you though and this is what I'm going to leave you with group number one is if you release and if you surrender if you do these two things this extraordinary thing that you want to bring in that will come in all right in terms of time frames and timings major arcana it, it could take time <laughs> it could take a bit of time there's also capricorn earth energy here this is not an overnight fix all right so group number one i hope this was constructive i hope this was good food for thought i hope this you know provides some kind of guidance as to the situation you're in right now um, please let me know in the comments below how you go with this reading and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi group number two. So let's take a look at your cards. Oh wow. Oh my gosh and it's number two as well. <laughs> your group two you get number two that's pretty extraordinary. Actually gosh group one had number one. Okay this is quite an auspicious first to pick a card reading that is absolutely amazing guys i'm pretty blown away by that okay well i think that's a good omen for me um maybe a good sign that i should keep doing these i don't know right surrender okay what a way to start a reading um, let's have a look what you've got here uh you've got for tarot you have six of pentacles upright Oops, I forgot to do that on the first one. See, I've watched so many of these and I'm, I'm new. Forgive me, everybody. <laughs> right, you've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Let's have a look at that. And you've got the world upright. It's beautiful. I like to lay all of these out first. I know some card readers, they really like to talk about them as they go, but I'm going to be one of those people who puts them all on the table I like to put all my cards on the table right we've got the abundance card that is beautiful look at that gosh that's stunning okay there's quite a lot of that's fascinating okay And what else do we have here? We've got the trust card. Oh, that's great. Okay. There's some animal symbolisms here that you might want to look up. I could do that, but I'm just going to go with, I'm going to go with what's here. There's quite a lot to talk about already. You've got this gorgeous card here. Nashira. Capricornus. There's a little Aquarius symbol up there. Okay. Got some air energy present. And actually, let me just move all of these up a little bit. I think that's, yep, that's good. Uh, and aha. Uh -huh. You've got Rahu or the North Node in your first house. Mm hmm. Okay. So, what do we have here? We've got a really interesting spread, actually. Surrender. This was a little bit like the first group I just did because they had a bit of this type of energy as well. And I was even inspired to say to them that you might have to let God drive your vehicle, the vehicle that is you. And I'm saying this to you as well because this is quite a surrender thing. One of the things with surrender that someone once taught me she was an energy healer she said when things get really tough she just puts her hands up to the sky and she says she says show me guide me and she waits and i really like that because it gives you an actual thing to do you can do it silently you know privately in the bathroom or wherever like it doesn't have to be a great big thing but um 
it's an important thing. We've also got a strong red color here, which is a root chakra. So this could have to do with your physical safety and security in the world. We are dealing with money here. We're dealing with career. We're dealing with what you do as a professional. Uh, that is definitely the strong sense I'm getting from this set. I don't think this is about love. I think this is about your profession. I think it's about what you do. I think it's about security. We've got the red color, which is very striking. We've got this beautiful six of pentacles here, which is, and you can see the visual of this man. He wants to be wealthy and sharing and giving and looking after people financially. So that's really what you want. That's what you want to manifest at this time. And you are working hard. And completion is here for you. But it wants to come in. It wants to manifest. It wants to come into your world. But there's something amiss here. This is where the problem is. I get the sense that maybe you're working too hard or you've lost motivation. You, you, or you're working and you're kind of thinking, where, where is all this leading to? I'm not getting any results. So there's really that kind of feeling here and you want to be this. You want to be this person here, looking after the family, being responsible, right? Family, red color here, it's root chakra, first chakra. That's what you really want and that's wonderful, that's a noble aim, that's really good. All the success in the world is here for you. Okay, what you want, the, the dream that you're trying to create, the success of it is here. It's in the now and it's trying to come in. There's a bit of a blockage. Okay, so let's try and see if through the other cards we can work out what this blockage is. Uh, yes, this is about abundance. Okay, so we've, we've definitely clocked that abundance. Abundance is here for you. Look, it's here for you twice. That's how much here for you it is, right? So this is good. This is a great spread to pick because there's a lot of good stuff coming in, coming in twice here. But there is this thing of trust that you will have to trust the process. Trust and surrender. Look, you've got that coming in twice as well. Okay, so there's a pattern here. A lot of abundance. We've got your dream. We can see that, but something's not right, okay? Um, and it might be that you're just trying to manifest that next level up kind of thing, but it, there's, there's this slight blockage. You're gonna have to surrender. You're gonna have to let go. You're gonna have to trust that it's gonna come in. How is it gonna come in? I'm not sure. <laughs> we could draw more cards on it, but I'm going to see what's in this card. But I think we've got everything we need right here. Let's have a look. Now, I actually wrote some notes about this because this is a quite a new deck for me. I bought it just recently and I think the makers of it made it just recently as well. So it's very, very new. So I'm going to read directly from the book for you. It says, the name Nishira literally translates as the fortunate one or the bringer of the of the good tidings okay the bringer of the good tidings this fixed star was used for those who seek to overcome evil and turn hardship into success mm. the fixed star Nishira reminds us that luck is an attitude even in the midst of confusion we can use our hope and devotion to help us find purpose and overcome our discomfort. Our need for control makes us think that we need to have everything figured out before we can even start. Yeah, but sometimes we just need to show up to find guidance within ourselves. That is interesting because I was saying, put your hands in the air and say, show me, guide me, right? You do need to do this, okay? That's amazing. Um, you, oh, hang on, I'll just hold that properly. Use, I'm like so new to this. <laughs> um, okay, it says use the energy of 
Wait, did I read the sentence before? Our need for control makes us think that we need to have everything figured out before we can even start, but sometimes we need to show up to find guidance within ourselves. Absolutely. Use the energy of this powerful fixed star to bring purpose and direction into your life. Absolutely. Well, you know, Rahu is definitely going to provide us with the guidance. What does Rahu want to say? That's in the title of this video, isn't it? So Rahu is in your first house or is in the first house of this reading, which means that you're to move forward on your own, actually. You might think that the blockage to do with your work relates to other people. You might think that, oh, if, if only I could partner up with so-and-so, or if only I could get an interview with that top person, you know, and then I'll make it. Or, you know, if only I, if only I had a leg up, if only I had assistance, if only I had, you know, yes, there could be that kind of thinking going on here. Rahu wants you to know that you are equipped everything that you need and, and the, the completion is done, right? It's done. It's manifested. So that business, that career, that thing that you're trying to bring in, this thing that you're trying to bring in, it's done. It exists in the here and now. And you, on your own, by yourself, are equipped. You have everything in you to magnetize it. If you're in some kind of lack, if you've got any little bit of lack going on, you're keeping it away, right? So you really do need to surrender. And this is what good artists know. They know how to do this. They know how to just step aside and let the flow happen. It's really interesting when we look at these cards visually as well. There's a lot of earth energy here. There's not a lot of um, water or air or any of that. You've just got sort of earth energy. So that's telling me that what you're trying to manifest and bring in, I think it will take a bit of time. Um, I don't think it's going to happen very quickly. Earth energy tends to be slow. But I feel like if you let go, if you trust the process, then this can come in. That's really your message, guys. And Rahu is saying, Rahu's message to you, Rahu is saying everything that you need for success is within you right now. You're not, you're not lacking anything. You've got it all. You'd, and you don't need a leg up, you don't need other people, you don't need, you know, some big business to come along and help you. Or, no, you, you go you go for it. You do this. You've got this, is what Rahu's saying. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys. I think, um, I think business success is on the way. It's great. It's really great. All right, well, group number two, I hope you enjoyed that reading. And we're now going to meet group number three. Hi there, group number three. So welcome to your reading. We're going to start with a Ganesh G card. Lord Ganesh, isn't that beautiful? So the card is number 13, understanding. It's wonderful. I'm pretty sure 13 is a number that's all about transformation and change. I'm pretty sure understanding wow straight away that's kind of giving me a vibe that whatever situation you're in you'll be able to improve it by changing the way you see it and not changing the situation or the thing that you're looking at or the person that you're looking at right so this is very much a, a card of looking at okay what do i need to do how do i need to see this situation differently. So what is the situation? Let's take a look at some tarot and see if we can figure this out. Okay, so 
we've got actually, why don't we look at these? I'll show you them in turn, kind of forget to do that. There we go. So we've got the seven of pentacles. So you're working hard. I can see that. You're doing well. We've got this beautiful nostalgic card, the six of cups. It's gorgeous. It's one of the nicest cards in the deck, actually. I really like it. I've got the emperor in reverse. Okay. I'm going to lay all of these out because that's what I like to do. I like to lay them all out first. I know some people like to talk about them as they go. We've got, okay, this one came first. This was self-love, which is just beautiful. I adore that. That's, that the pictures on these cards are just great. So it's self-love. We've got the void. That is fascinating. It's number one as well. Wow, beautiful. And then this is the Ethereal Orbs deck, which is quite new. So I'll read you a bit of a description from this because I'm not so familiar with this deck. Um, we've got Capricorn energy here. Kadal Kadal Deba. I think that's how you pronounce that. Or Cardaldiba. Cardaldiba. Okay. I've got some notes on that one, so I'll read those out. And your Rahu Ketu axis. You've got Rahu in the seventh house. Okay. Fascinating. So, what can we see about? the situation that you're in. I'm sensing that this is not a love life issue. It could be because we've got this beautiful card here in the middle. Could be for some of you, it could be to do with love life, but I'm kind of getting more of a more of a feel that this is about you. There could be a conflict here. When I look at these two cards, because the cards are asking you to see things from a different point of view. And I get the sense that this is where there's a bit of an issue at the moment in your life. And it's to do with, it's to do with a man in your life. It could be to do with your own masculine side. Okay. So if this is a life situation thing, and let's say, you are working really, really hard. You're working really, really, really hard at your craft. You're wanting to create this beautiful life, but you might be overworking, okay? You might be doing too much, and of course, because we've got the self-love card here in the void. Yeah, so, and the void is telling me that something creative, wants to come in so you know artists like before they create something they need a period of downtime they need a blank slate they need quiet Carl Lagerfeld always talked about the fact that he was an introvert and he craved time alone and I'm getting the sense that this would be good for you Mm, it would be good for you to have some time alone. It would be good for you to have some days of pure nothing where you sit in a park or in a garden or on your balcony or you sit somewhere and you just look at the sky. It'll be refreshing and some new creativity can come in. But you're going to need a void. You're going to need a void because there is some challenge going on in your life. I see that and I think it's, I think, I mean, it could be to do with a male person in your family, it could be, as I say, I'm not getting the love vibe that there's a thing going with your partner, but it could be, it could be because of this, um, this beautiful nostalgic, this does bring up home, love, care, family, it could be your work family, it could be a work colleague, there's a bit of an issue that requires understanding, that requires you to see things in a different way, right? Um, but 
But in order to resolve what's going on here, and you are working too hard, I do think so. I think there's some sort of yang energy because of this, because otherwise this wouldn't be here. Self-love. You need, and you need time out. You've been working too hard. <laughs> I think that's what's going on. So if you're watching this video, good on you, because hopefully this is relaxing. Um, but yeah, you need self-love. You've been working really hard. And you need a void. You need, because creativity, something wants to flow in here. But there's a blockage in your masculine energy. Could be a blockage on the right side of your body. So take a look if you're getting headaches or backache or anything like that. Is that happening on your right side? Okay, that's something to look at. Now I am going to read some stuff from the book for this card because I'm not so familiar with this. It says, while being part of the material world, Oh, sorry, I'm reading that totally wrong. Right, let me begin again. While being part of the material world is something we all have to encounter, it is important to listen to our emotional needs and feed our souls with what they long for. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that, to feed our souls with what they long for. Right? So th this this and it could be some creativity that wants to flow in here it's like and it could be something to do from your past maybe there's something that you watched when you were a kid that was so inspiring maybe you watched like dead poet society or something and you were like oh god i want to make a film one day or you know what i mean like it's something that's from your past or some kind of nostalgia or something that you can take from the past and alchemize and, and be creative with it. It can it, the, those old memories can the beautiful memories can flow into this void, and you're going to create something wonderful. That's really the sense that I'm getting. I think this is yeah. I think this is work related, and it's, but it's creativity related because of the void. Oh, well, let's have a look at the Rahu thing. <laughs> I was getting carried away. All right, let's take a look at Rahu. So, what does Rahu want to say to you? Look at that, Rahu in the seventh. So while you do need time out and you do need to do the self-love thing, okay, so you really need to do that. Rahu is asking you, and I, I also think Rahu is asking you to kind of work with different people and to find different people and to, to explore the world a bit. Um, and that obviously we're not able to travel or do any of that now, but like, it's like watch different types of YouTube videos, comment on different types of YouTube videos, or for me, YouTube is my world right now. So like, but like, can you network with new people? Can you, um, can you make new contacts? Can you, can you grow in a different way? seventh house because it, 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 it's like can you travel through your mind a bit can you journey a little bit and that, that's also tapping into the understanding thing here as well it's like there's something about different types of people working with different types of people see we've got earth energy we've got water energy we've got this void space which could be like ether it could be like jupiter and then we've got this airy sort of house here. This is really interesting. I feel like the situation that you're in will be resolved through rest. But Rahu's not saying to you to just rest and do nothing forever. He wants, he wants you to get in there. He wants you to run your business. He wants you to be a success. He wants you to network with lots of people. He wants you to reach out to all kinds of different people around the world. And he wants you to have fun, you know, have fun with your communications. Um, maybe you're starting something new. 
again we've got earth energy here so I do feel I do feel that this is to do with career it's to do with money it's to do with your practical everyday world but there's a blockage in the masculine side in your yang energy or to do with a male self-love and time out is going to help enormously not only that the water that's in these cups can flow into that void there's a beautiful creativity here it's really nice and you are to share that creativity that's what Rahu wants Rahu wants you to share that creativity I'm so excited for you group three I think this is a beautiful reading um, I hope you enjoyed that and if you did enjoy that please do give me a like give me a comment let me know how you went I'd love to know this is my first ever pick a card reading so I hope it's gone well um, but I don't know but anyway I might do it again I hope to do it again and um, yeah I'm just so delighted that you you joined me for this so thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you next time